Bonjour, darling. Today I am creating a tag, or at least I think I am. It is the top five funniest moments in TTRPGs, whether as a game master or as a player. If you don't know what a game master is, I suggest you watch my previous video about how I started in the TTRPG world. Now, let the top five begin. Number five, the ghost story. I was a player and we had to understand why a man had disappeared. And we discovered he had become a ghost. But not the scary kind of ghost, a nice ghost. He was a cool guy. We drank beers, we smoked cigarettes, we chatted. We, I have to be honest, almost forgot we had to help him go through to the afterlife. So that is not scary and really funny in itself. But was really, what was really funny was the reason why he had become a ghost. He had become a ghost because he had used a special magical toothpaste that promised, that swore, to give you the brightest smile until the end of time. So yeah, he was stuck in his apartment and he had indeed a really bright smile. Number four, treasure hunting. So I was a player again and it was another homebrew. Yes, all the games I will talk about here are homebrew. <clears throat> Sorry, homebrewed, which means they are not published games. So, I was playing as an Adams. I was Romilda Adams and I was married to a head, a small head, really small head, like that. His name was Chambered and we loved each other very much. Everything was funny in that session. Um, we also had a zombie penguin that kept losing his eye, a Frankenstein girl with six arms, an emo artist that loved painting about natural cataclysms, um, and a lot of different characters. I can't even tell you all of them. It would be too long and unfunny. And everything was amazing. We went treasure hunting in the graveyard and well, I think I would have problems with YouTube if I told you what we ate, but it was a really good goofy Halloween session. Number three, critical hit. So, I have a problem as a game master. All my bosses keep rolling critical fails. I am really unlucky like that. They are supposed to be powerful and scary and undefeatable, but I always roll critical fails. Except that one time where I rolled a critical success and I was happy. Finally, my boss was powerful and he was he had cornered all the players in a cave in limbo and they were in danger and I had their destiny in my hands and that was until Seridwen, one of the players, rolled an even better critical success than mine. That was funny for them, not for me, but that was funny not for me and I will never forget and I will never forgive but I still love you though Sarah Dwayne number two the terrace day so it was a very normal day and a very normal session for everyone except for that one player the name of his character was Taris and for more than five hours straight, he only rolled failures and critical failures. 
only that for more than five hours. He was trying to to start a brand of beer and almost lost all of his beer. His house exploded. His wife almost cheated on him. He almost killed his best friend. He lost a fight to a tree. In the end, he was so desperate, he just told me I lay in the grass waiting for the day to end. That was amazing for all of us, except for him. I think he wasn't really that happy when he laughed after the dozenth, the twelfth, sorry, failure he rolled. Yeah. I mean, it was so happy that having a Taris or Taris day became a saying in my world, meaning that you were having the worst day in your life. It became canon because I just couldn't let it go. None of us could, not even the player. He might still have nightmares about that one. Number one, the end of the world. So the clock was ticking. Something was about to come down on Earth from the moon to destroy the world and provoke the apocalypse. One of the players, Seth, discovered an artifact. It was given to him by an NPC, a non-playing character. They had two weeks before the apocalypse to understand what was this what was this artifact and how it would help them. The NPC told Seth, give it to a magician to understand what it is. The other player said, give it to a magician to understand what it is. But Seth, well, his player, looked me in the eye and said, I activate the artifact. And he provoked the almost destruction of the entire world all by himself in a small session where not, where not even all the players were there that was only supposed to be <clears throat> something light where they discovered the artifact and they could talk about it with the other players in the next session. It was just a nightmare but it was also so funny but because it was so in character because i mean i gave the thief the artifact the man that never thinks uh, before acting so yeah that was the funniest thing that ever happened to me because all by himself he, he almost destroyed a campaign that would soon become my longest campaign ever almost three years and a half so yeah that's my number one funniest moment in all my TTRPG career so yeah that was my top five funniest moments in TTRPGs I hope you liked it I hope you laughed with me or of me that's the point and also that I did create this tag and it wasn't done before. Um, I tag Sarah Sean Weber, yes, that's how it's written, who plays D&D &D with author tubers on her channel to give us her top five funniest moments. And Stephen Partridge, who makes amazing videos about TTRPGs. Both their channels will be linked down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, to like this video if you did love it, and to ring the bell to be notified of any of my new content. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on my website, all links down below in the description box. And as always, au revoir darling!